Hello, my name is Mr. Taylor and I am a natural science specialist here at Roper Mountain Science Center and we are in our marine lab. So welcome. In our lab, we have aquarium tanks and we feature over here the coral reef habitat with lots of fish, with marine invertebrates like the live coral and sea anemones. We also have predators, fish that might feed upon the coral. And we have other displays like this loggerhead sea turtle display. And we feature other saltwater environments like the estuary, looking at our estuary tank. And then we have our touch tanks. Did you know that organisms can only survive in environments that meet their needs? And we're gonna talk about that over here at our horseshoe touch tank area. Now these animals need near shore, shallow, sandy bottom areas of a saltwater environment. So my first question is, why do they need this sandy bottom area of a saltwater environment? Now, they need the sand because they hide in the sand. Observe the color of the horseshoe crabs. They can blend in in the sand as they hide. And look closely at their shell. Uh, it's shaped like a horseshoe, yes, but it also acts like a shovel, and that enables it to bury itself into the sand to hide. We, I believe we have some small horseshoe crabs that were hiding in the sand that I just dug out, and you might even be able to observe it use that shovel-like shell to hide. Now, where do they find their food? They are bottom feeders. Their mouth is on the bottom. So we're going to turn one over here gently. And their mouth is right up here. And I don't know if you can notice but they use, their first pair of legs are pinchers, and they use those pinchers to grab food and move it toward their mouth. And we have this large female horseshoe crab shell, which I think you can see the underneath parts better, the legs and the gills and where the mouth would be. What do you think horseshoe crabs find to eat in the bottom? Since they're bottom feeders and they use those pinchers to grab food. They feed upon little snails, little crabs, marine worms. How do they move? They move along the bottom again with their legs. They have 10 legs and they use those legs mainly to crawl and move along the bottom. They can even crawl onto land, especially when it's time for the female to lay eggs. Can you think of other animals that depend on these near shore, shallow, sandy bottom areas in an ocean environment? We have others here. So when you have a chance to visit our marine lab, come and visit and you can touch these animals with a gentle two finger touch here in our touch tanks and learn more about them and others.